Darwin at Home invites you into Darwin the algorithm. Invites you into Darwin the algorithm. You into this is an exercise in cyberbiology. The bodies you see are the result of evolution. Survival of the fittest. Each one is the end of a long line of increasingly successful walkers and runners. But these are not biological creatures. These are simple mathematical systems. It should be possible to understand them from the ground up. Different structures evolve in different ways. Each one trying to cope with the same challenge. Run as far as possible in a limited amount of time given a particular set of physics rules. The challenge is simple. The response to the challenge is elaborate and beautiful. It seems complex beyond the reach of human engineering. Any shape can learn to move. Evolution is robust. But it's not perfect. Darwin and Home produces do not require much explanation. Children seem to understand them. The challenge is to understand the process by which they come about. Darwin at Home is an attempt to expose this process to as many people as possible. Cyberbiology is an important part of artificial life, if it is to be compelling. The artificial bodies must be convincing. They must appear natural. Darwin at Home invites people to get involved. To learn. To help. Arms and legs are not required. 
Any shape can learn to move. Both muscle contractions and shape evolve at the same time. Darwin at Home is an internet project. It's open source. Its purpose is to demystify and to inspire. It should be common knowledge what evolution can accomplish even in a simple mathematical system. And it should inform us as to how evolution works in biology. Compelling artificial life will need to have this kind of physical basis. Muscles. Eventually these creatures will make decisions. They will compete for food. Predators, prey. Clearly we are looking at the result of design. But is the design intelligent? Darwin at Home tries to help people answer for themselves the question of what evolution is and how it works. Instead of formulas and mathematics, people get to experience it directly. Evolution is as natural as gravity.